Hello everybody, it's Connie Stewart with SimplySimpleStamping.com. I'm so glad you guys could join me today for a new Tuesday tip. We're going to be talking about quick and easy shaker cards. A few weeks ago, I shared nine really amazing ways to use a clear envelope. But this was the card that got the most attention. Everyone wanted to know, how did you make that shaker card? And it's so easy with a clear envelope. I mean, super fast and super easy. I think you're gonna enjoy how fast it is to make. I'm excited to share it with you. So we're gonna head over to the stamping table and get started. So here's the shaker card that I shared with you a few weeks ago. And guys, this one is super easy to do. So um, I've already created my focal image. And I did that with a piece of cake stamp set. I love this set. I love all the little cakes going on here. And you're going to find that stamp set on page 64 of the 2019-2020 catalog. Hey, I did want you to notice too, it comes with a matching punch. We're not going to use the punch today, but I definitely wanted you to know about the fabulous punch that matches the stamp set. I stamped it on a piece of Whisper White cardstock, two and a half by four inches, and then I colored it with the Highland Heather Stampin' Blends combo. You can see that just gave a nice little contrast. I also have a piece of gorgeous grape that is cut a little bit bigger, so that is cut two and three quarters by four and a quarter inch. But before we layer this together, I'm going to use this piece and cut out some, uh, just some fun little things that I can put inside my shaker. And one of the things I'm going to use is the well-written dies. These are fabulous. Look at this, 24 dies in this set. But I love that I have the word happy. So let me set my word happy aside. And you notice I've also got some little flowers and some hearts. I'm gonna go ahead and pull those out as well. I will lay these out on my gorgeous grape. Now, one thing you want to pay attention to when you go and die cut these is we are gonna use this as a layer. So make sure things are staying, you know, in the uh, perimeter. We need about an uh, eighth of an inch all the way around. Let me go run this through and I'm gonna run these little images, these little dies through twice. All right, there we go. By the way, I want you to notice there were some little uh, dots inside the flowers. I'm gonna use those too. All right, we are now ready to adhere our focal image, cover up all of that. We don't wanna see that. We now wanna take all of our little die cut pieces, all our little polka dots, and let's put them, we're just laying them here on our image. Make sure everything is face up. For instance, I just had my happy upside down, so let's make sure happy is right side up. I'm going to lay all those on my focal image. I'm gonna take a clear envelope, and guys, I am just going to gently place that in the clear envelope, and I'm gonna tuck it down here in one corner. Now you can fill this envelope with anything. So you can see I have some uh, a word and I have some little flowers. You can also add sequins and you can also add loose glitter. So I've got the ice stamp and glitter. This stuff's kind of fun. Now I wanna tell you when it comes to a shaker card, less is more. Don't overcrowd it. Don't let it get too full. I've got about an eighth of a teaspoon. So yeah, not a lot. Now, when I go to add this, I want to make sure it's going to stay right here until I seal it up. Now, to seal it up, let's make sure we've got it tucked in the corner because that is important. I'm going to flip it over, and then I'm going to take the top of my bag, and I'm going to fold that over. And remember, clear envelopes have some seal on it, so I'm ready to go. Let's flip this over, and I can seal that. Okay. Now let's take this end and we'll fold it over. And I'm just gonna use a little scotch tape. So let's make sure that's on nice and tight. I will put some tape here. Let's get this other end. And there we have it, a great and very, very simple shaker card. Now, let me show you what it looks like on an actual card. So I'll bring my original in. You can see I put that on a piece of Highland Heather cardstock, eight and a half by five and a half. And I used the uh, swirls and curls embossing folder because I thought that just 
lent itself so nicely to uh, this little party theme going on here. And a little bit of polka dotted tulle up there in the top. What do you think? I think these are a great and quick way to create shaker cards and who knows, you could just do it. It was so easy with just a clear envelope. I told you, it really was nice and simple. And it's a great way you get to use that, uh, in this case, the gorgeous great cardstock. You got to use that to create your little focal images to go inside. And remember what I said, less is more when it comes to a shaker. You don't want to overfill it or it doesn't have that great shaking effect. So that's a great way to save money too, right? Well, now listen, if you want to find out more information about my card, here's what you can do. Go to simplysimplestamping.com and look for the October 15th, 2019 blog post. All the details about the card will be there, including the measurements and a complete supply list. So if you'd like to recreate my card, it's so easy. You'll just click a pick. It's going to take you right to my online store and you can order what you need. I hope you enjoyed today's Tuesday tip. If you did, would you do me a favor? I'd love a thumbs up on YouTube. I always appreciate that. And hey, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, take a minute to click that great big red subscribe button. I'd love to have you as a subscriber. I share three different inspiration videos with you each week and I'd love to share it with you too. All right, my friends, thank you again so much for being here. Have a fabulous day. We'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.